Hi guys, uh, Robot Radio. I did a, a bit of a video demo of this one uh, last year when I completed it. Uh, at the time I wasn't able to uh, properly demonstrate on, on video the uh, Ambly module which is really just as quirky as the whole thing. Uh, this little uh, crystal locked module on the side here is a 359 kHz uh, receiver for Ambly Airbase which is fairly close to me. Um, it's the Ambly Base uh, weather beacon for incoming uh, aircraft. Why you'd want to receive that, I don't know. I just did because it was there. Um, and uh, it, it seems to be up and running again, so I, I wanted to do a rundown on that. So there's a close-up of the circuit board. Um, the crystal facing down there, rather large one by today's uh, sort of standards, is um, 100 kilohertz. so remember that number. Uh, this tubular thing here is a variable capacitor of the day. Uh, this radio must be sort of late 70s. Um, this whole thing... Most of the parts came out of a, a Yaesu 6 meter receiver, um, VHF, uh, that'd be 50 megahertz, so I'm saying 6 meters. Yes, since uh, 10 meters is 28 megahertz, that sounds about right. So uh, I, had, I got that from a, a junk sale um, ham, ham fest thing, um, didn't work, <laughs> had a lot of problems, and I, as a, a foundation uh, call holder, I had no business using a six meter radio anyway, but um, it had too many problems to, to bother about, so um, I ended up junking it. Got a lot of nice uh, variable capacitors, uh, much nicer than this one. So keeping in mind the module I just showed you, here's the original, uh, well, the part of the schematic uh, out of the original Yaesu uh, transceiver, and um, this module is actually a uh, 100 kilohertz station marker, um, so it's basically a a 100 kilohertz oscillator and the big fat crystal I showed you before is here um, and uh, obviously to, to my, for an uh, amateur transceiver with a uh, analog VFO um, they're used to mark out every 100 kilohertz channel spacing to um, help calibrate your tuning dial uh, in the olden days um, not they didn't all have them you could turn them on and off I find them quite annoying but basically, um, this will just mix a 100 kilohertz signal with uh, the incoming radio signal, amplify that, and you'll have um, a little carrier on every 100 kilohertz spacing uh, to help you tune other frequencies. Um, so this is basically the same thing popped on a proto board, taken out of the original device, and same thing put back on a proto board, mixed in with the incoming signal of the radio in question. So the same circuit again. Um, on the proto board before, prior to installation into the radio, um, you've got two transistors here. There's the big fat 100 kilohertz crystal, which is actually marked on the other side. And this was actually a trimmer uh, capacitor. And uh, I'm not sure if it was part of this circuit, probably not, but I'm using it to trim this crystal. And uh, it does nothing. It, um, it, the, either the station's so close it doesn't uh, matter, or it uh, doesn't have enough impact on the crystal oscillator frequency. Um, but uh, yeah, that's just a, an image on my computer screen, which is a bit easier to see. So it receives a tone signal direct from the air uh, through this socket uh, and gets mixed with the uh, 100 kilohertz signal. And then what happens? Uh, heterodyning. Then we get a signal on uh, 459 kilohertz and also another one on 259 kilohertz. We get uh, the same intelligence on the sum and difference frequencies when we mix one uh, frequency with another carrier. And um, I'm actually using the new signal on 459 kilohertz. So we have here the original schematic for the um, Music Masters Mendelssohn, uh, 1950s sometime. You notice uh, intermediate frequency 455 kilocycles per second, which these days is kilohertz. Um, dual gang tuning capacitor in both of these positions, your local oscillator down here and RF tracking at the top, which is the first uh, variable oscillator here uh, and your mixer here, so both the LO and RF are mixed in this uh, first mixer. Um, so for the Ambly module, uh, I just uh, I mentioned in the last segment that I mix 100 kilohertz oscillator in the module with the 359 kilohertz incoming signal end up with a new heterodyne uh, signal at uh, 459 kilohertz. Um, so I've got a switch that turns off the local oscillator and the RF oscillator and I'll just send 459 megahertz intelligence into the mixer and the 455 uh, kilohertz intermediate frequency transformers 
are uh, of course air core resonant transformers designed only to pass 455 uh, kilohertz signal but they're not perfect so the 459 kilohertz signal gets passed through and amplified so there's your uh, your easy hack to <laughs> put in any frequency into a radio just get it close to 455 kilohertz um, of course it, at some stage it will block that off uh, the module is not selective at all, so any incoming signal will get mixed with the 100 kilohertz carrier and uh, heterodyne, but the intermediate formers are also acting as filters because they're not going to allow something like, you know, 100 kilohertz or 600 kilohertz to get through. They've got, uh, uh, they're narrow, but they're not that narrow. So, of course, what would normally be happening is your incoming RF would be uh, tuned by this, the first tuner, the first half of this tuning gang. The second half, the local oscillator would be uh, tracking at a frequency which is the tuned frequency plus the 455 kilohertz to give you the intelligence always on the uh, constant 455 kilohertz frequency so that they always pass through the intermediate transformers. And that's the beauty of the super heterodyne. You can uh, design this half for a single frequency. The front end is uh, designed to uh, always produce the 455 kilohertz frequency from any frequency that it's reading it. Back to the physical module on the radio, I've got a switch here. It's a switch I mentioned before that all switches power to the module and also switches out uh, the tuner of the, the rest of the AM radio. Uh, so this antenna rod isn't actually used for the module. This here is a uh, bridge rectifier uh, taken off the valve. Uh, supply for the filaments, 6.3 volts AC, so to convert that to DC I have got a, uh, a bridge rectifier hidden somewhere below there, it must be all tight. Oh, it could be just uh, half wave actually, but um, yeah that switches on and off power to this module with the switch. So I'm tuned to ABC in Australia, or mainly a news broadcast to try and avoid uh, copyright infringement with YouTube. Um, I've demonstrated this part before. But um, basically, it's uh, the tuner is unaltered and it's totally original. And I'm moving that with a stepper motor in nine kilohertz steps, and it reads back the frequency as feedback to know that. Um, so that's just nine kilohertz behind and back to the station. If it ever drifts off frequency, whoops, uh, it'll put itself back to within one kilohertz. It's satisfied if it's flickering uh, in and out one kilohertz. It's dissatisfied if the figure is incorrect for ten readings in a row, and then it'll try to adjust itself. Got a very nice uh, new old stock magic eye for it since the last video. So this one's very bright. Uh, I don't think it's ever actually been installed in any equipment prior to this. Uh, and this isn't stock. The, the whole radio is a 1950s Music Masters Mendelssohn. Uh, made in Brisbane, uh, did not have a magic eye, uh, so I tapped that in myself. So for the Ambly radio, this thing works, a coat hanger. <laughs> for this demo I can do a little better, I've got a big giant dipole outside and uh, here's the connector for it. <laughs> so there it is plugged in. It's important to note that the AM radio is cut off, so the frequency read back by the microcontroller when the Ambly module is switched in, it's just invalid, it just trusts that it's right. So when I switch in the Ambly module, it says Ambly on the screen, but the microcontroller really doesn't know what's going on. Uh, it's, it it's just has to trust the crystal lock then. Uh, tuning the, the tuner will do nothing anyway. So there we go. This one's actually an antenna tuner. Back on the shelf with you. Do I care about 10 minute up to date information from Amberley? Uh, weather and visibility? No. Uh, 
Do I want to make the radio and have it work? Yes. Okay, see you later.